Well, good afternoon, voting fans, and welcome to another edition of Voting with Spencer. I'm Spencer Rempel of Gibbons Motor Toys, and here I am in Gibbons, Alberta. We've had a fabulous year of selling Kingfisher boats. As you can see, the yard behind me is starting to look pretty bare. But I would like to take advantage of a wonderful opportunity to take this time to show you a Kingfisher, king of the Kingfishers, a beautiful 3025 destination that I have in behind me here. Let's just take a quick look. That's some new colors for this year. Isn't that beautiful? In that green and that uh, caribou brown, they call that. Up along the roof line there as well. Very nice little bimini top. Rod holders up all up on top of that hard top. What a gorgeous boat. Nice tri-axle trailer. You can pull this boat around, take her to the coast. Just take a quick look See underneath. See what a beautifully designed hull. Full chine along the bottom, lifting strikes, fabulous performance. That is a .250 thick bottom. 0.160 thick sides on this baby. What a gorgeous boat. Kingfisher, actually, a little st statistic here I'd like to share with you, is uh, the number one fastest growing boat designer and manufacturer in the heavy gauge welded aluminum series. No kidding. Let's take a look around. That hull will give you some fabulous performance, let me tell you. Let's, let's take a look at what we've matched it up for power here. There we are. Some Mercury 200 Verados on there. And of course a nice 15 Pro Kicker for when you're just dawdling along, doing some trolling and reeling in the salmon. This beautiful boat's 30 foot 5 inches long, a full 8.5 inch beam, nice deep 42 inch sides. That hull we're talking about that I'm so proud about is 18 degree variable. With the 400 horsepower here, it has a fabulous performance. We're looking at uh, at 4,000 RPM. She goes at about uh, what was it, about 24 mile an hour. Burn about 25 liters an hour per engine at that, so about 50 50 liters per hour at 24 mile an hour. That's pretty darn good. 606 liter tank in there, so you're going to get some really good range out of that. I think that's going to give you. Heck, about 250 nautical miles, 288, 290 miles out of that. That's some really good range. Not to mention that uh, wide open throttle. We're getting 41 mile an hour out of this boat. Just walk through the nice walk through transom look at that back deck isn't that beautiful nice pads all along the side here of course going to be reeling in some big halibut maybe some big salmon to put in the live well there halibut crabs let's throw them right in there look at that hey Nice, nice, nice. Rear steering station, of course. And a beautiful, nice bimini top. Let's take a look up top. Storage like crazy up here. Enough room for another little tender or a couple of kayaks. Rod storage there. Big DHOS rings that we've had welded on there to help hold down any gear. I mean, with this kind of range in this boat and this. You can do your own Alaska cruise. So you might need a lot of gear. You can afford to bring it along with storage like that. Windless anchor there in the front, of course. Controls right there. And of course, controls at the helm. Enjoying the life, living the life, living the dream. Check it out. 
I love that rear steering station. Mentioned it briefly before, but it's so nice. I just want to show you, of course, we have full controls here for both our main engines with the Mercury Verado 200. That's what you get controls here at the second station as well as up at the front. And, of course, controls here for our, um, our auxiliary kicker there that you see running in the back. As well as in the back here, we've mounted some really nice heavy-duty stainless steel railing and nice side, deep side gunnels here for uh, mounting any uh, accessories that you want. Rod holders and uh, barbecues, all different mounts, of course down riggers, pot pullers, anything you need. Nice work lights here. In the back you'll see, mounted one on each side. And uh, we got a lot of nice height here as I'm six foot two and uh, can relax back here in the back, no problem. Let's take a look inside. Heavy duty door. This back deck, steps. this steps down into the main cabin because of course this entire rear deck is uh, self bailing. All right. Oh, now check this out. So comfortable. So nice. Nice and wide. Lots of space. The 3025 destination is just like I said, the king of the kingfishers. I love this boat. I'm six foot two again, so all you tall guys out there, there is no need for ducking when you're in this boat. Lots of headroom, lots of space in here. Just want to show you around a little. This is a feature that I really like about it. With the 30, you get one, two, three seats here, and all of them pull out like this. Right? So that's nice. So you actually have seating for one, two, three, four, five, six, and of course, the captain in this beautiful air suspension seat there. So you have a seating for seven. Nice cuddy cabin there. Oh, that's actually, that's the pad for the table. The table does make down. See, a nice and spacious room there. Hope you can see that. And of course, yeah, the table here does make down. This comes out, table comes down, pad goes in there. And you have a nice bed here as well. Just wanna show you, there's skylights both port and starboard. Opening side windows, front and back. Nice forward sloping pilot house windows here. Look at there, as goes our vents. Here, here, and here. We keep those windows defrosted. Keep everybody warm and toasty. Another one down there, of course, to keep you warm in that cuddy cabin. Those vents running off of this S-Bar diesel heater system. So all you see of it is a little thermostatic control here on and off and uh, set your temperature. That's it. It is a uh, heats water as well, so as you go into the full stand-up head, that you see here, there is the toilet that's a overboard macerator as well as a holding tank. And uh, your shower there, 40 gallon fresh water tank in this boat here too. Over here we see nice alcohol stove, little sink, fridge, and just a real complement to their craftsmanship. Beautiful drawers. This is nice, easy access to your plumbing. Whether you want to overboard or put it to the tank. Another big bilge pump here. Of course, like I mentioned, the entire back deck being self-bailing. Really safe boat to stay on. 
stay warm on with that little diesel heater. I love that. It's own little separate tank just stashed away right there. That's all it takes. Amazing fuel economy. And then that little diesel heater, I don't think we'll probably go for a week on that and uh, use just about almost no battery power either. Fantastic system. Well, let me see. What else can I show you? Attention to detail. Little access up there. Let's use as much storage space as we can. And you see the electrical there because you do have plug-ins. And of course, just on the outside, there's a big plug-in for shore power. Well, that did just give you a little overview of this gorgeous boat. Of course, uh, you want to see more, come on in and see me at Gibbons Motor Toys. Love to show you more of this boat. And uh, or any Kingfisher boat. Come on down and see us.